Hello, everyone. Thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Louisville Sports Talk. My name is Cameron. I'm the host slash creator of Louisville Sports Talk. And just a little bit over a week ago, the sky was falling for the Louisville basketball program. Since then, in the past seven days, Pat Kelsey has secured three transfers to give himself the number two overall transfer recruiting class. So just take a step back and look at where we were around seven days ago as a program. The sky was falling. We didn't know who our head coach was going to be. We go from Scott Drew to Dusty May and then Josh Schertz and finally Pat Kelsey. There were a lot of questionable variables in the air, but since the moment Pat Kelsey has been announced as the head coach, it has been nothing but four wheel drive. So by now, I'm pretty sure you all are aware that everyone from last year's team has already hit the transfer portal at this time we have zero returning scholarship players and what does pat kelsey do he brings in one of the most experienced deadliest sharp shooting three-point threats there is in college basketball right now you guys know who i'm talking about i'm talking about rain smith rain smith is a 6 190 pound guard he's a junior he averages 12.8 points per game 2.1 rebounds 1.7 assists while shooting 39.4 percent from the three-point line 37.7 field goal percentage with a 92.9 free throw percentage while also adding 2.1 steals in there now i don't know about you guys but i can't help but to make the comparison with rain smith and and Ryan McMahon just the way that they move off the ball the way that they come off the screen and just their jump shot in general I definitely think that rain can come in here and fill the knockdown shooter role I think this guy is going to be a serious threat not only from the three-point line but just as a overall player but just overall I just couldn't be happier with Pat Kelsey's first acquisition as the head coach of the University of Louisville and so that was March 30th when rain had committed just a day later his teammate James Scott, a six foot 11 inch, 210 pound forward slash center, who keep in mind was also a freshman this past year. So now he'll be a sophomore with multiple years of eligibility. His overall stat line isn't going to really impress you. He averaged five points per game, 3.4 rebounds. But the most intriguing thing about this player is that he averaged around 16 minutes per game and shot almost 80% for field goal percentage. Not only that, but also he had 45 blocks last year to come out to, I think it was 1.3 blocks per game as a freshman. I don't need to tell you this. I think everybody and their mother knows this guy has serious NBA potential. That's the whole reason why he is coming here in the first place. I think Pat Kelsey understands that he can't just bring his entire Charleston squad over here to win successfully in the ACC. So let's have a review. Pat Kelsey's hired. A couple days later, he brings in his first transfer who was from his previous team in Rain Smith. But one thing I don't want to gloss over is his 92.9 free throw percentage. When I sit back and think about it, the past couple years, our Louisville teams, they haven't really shot that well from the free throw. We haven't really had a knockdown free throw shooter. It's always been someone in the mid 80s, maybe. And you could just never really trust them at the free throw line. But with this guy shooting at almost 93% from the free throw line, I mean, that just gives me serious confidence in this guy. So you got Rain Smith and then the next day, you get his teammate in James Scott, who as a freshman showed serious NBA potential with his almost 80% field goal percentage and 45 blocks last season and multiple years of eligibility. As Michael Jordan said, the ceiling is the roof with this young fella. Now you can say, okay, okay, okay. Coach Pat brought in a couple guys with him from Charleston. He didn't really have to recruit that well. He didn't really have to go out of his way to offer anything special to these guys to make sure he didn't have to. You can say that Coach Pat didn't have to go out of his way to recruit these guys because he already knew them. He basically just offered them a position on the team. You could say that. You can sit there and question his capability of landing high quality transfers at the power five level. You could question his recruiting capabilities. But then, three days after the commitment from James Scott, James Madison combo guard Terrence Edwards Jr. was making an official visit to the University of Louisville on Tuesday, the 2nd of April. I remember on that Tuesday, it was a very rainy day, possibilities of tornado threats, tornado warnings. So on that Tuesday, we didn't get much information on how that visit had gone or any updates in regards to that visit. 
Now, the next day after his scheduled visit, this would be Wednesday the 3rd. Well, then Jeff Goodman comes out of nowhere with an absolute bomb. Terrence Edwards Jr., nicknamed Fat, a combo guard from James Madison University, has committed to the University of Louisville. Six foot six inch, 190 pound combo guard, averaged 17.2 points per game, 4.4 rebounds, and 3.4 assists a game. With a field goal percentage of 42.7%, shooting 34.3% from the three point line, and 81% from the free throw line, Terrence Edwards Jr. was a top 40 portal player at the time of his commitment. To go from four wins two years ago, to 12 wins last year, to every single player from this past year's roster transferring into the portal, to now having one of the best and most experienced three-point shooters in the portal in Rain Smith, a player with as high NBA upside as James Scott, and then to get a player as dynamic as Terrence Edwards Jr., all within under a week since Pat Kelsey has been hired. I mean, I keep saying this over and over again, but to look at where you were a week ago to where you are now, it can't get much better to be a Louisville fan in general right now. The football team is running on all cylinders. We have a basketball coach that seems to be as legit as they come. So with the first official week as Pat Kelsey as the head coach, I would have to give it an A+. Not only that, but at the beginning of this week on Monday, it was announced on Drew Diener's show on 93.9 The Ville that local businessman Rick Huber and his family on behalf of Glow Gems, which is Planet Fitness and Suntan City and other brands, that, that he and his family would be matching a total of $1 million dollars to the NIL funds donated towards men's basketball. And what that means is if I donate $1,000 to the 502 circle, then Rick Huber, his family, they donate $1,000 to the 502 circle. So with his $1 million goal set in place, if Louisville fans donate up to $1 million, then Rick Huber and his family are going to match that offer up to $1 million also. So that would be a $2 million NIL addition to basketball funds. And that's not including what we had before this pledge. And I've seen a lot of pushback this week with this announcement and everybody saying that they're not on board with the pay for play scheme definitely not happy at the fact that now in today's age we're basically paying for players or paying for play but if you're involved with ncaa division one power five athletics and you're not prioritizing the nil game then you're setting yourself up for failure i don't necessarily agree with it nor disagree with it i don't have an opinion on the fact but the fact of the matter is if you're not at the top of the NIL game, you're not going to be in the top of athletics in general. And until there's some serious restrictions or some guidelines held by the NCAA in regards to NIL, I don't see this changing anytime soon. So either you get on board or you jump off the Titanic, like Kenny Payne said. So, And with that being said, Louisville is involved with slash and talks with a bunch of different transfer players, a bunch of different portal players. But as of right now, I'm not in the rumor market. I don't like talking about hypotheticals. So until we get another commit or another couple commits, I'm not gonna report on anything. But other than that, thank you for watching. This is Louisville Sports Talk, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.